Hello again, this is my tutorial 12. What you are looking at now is my 2D drawing and solid model in paper space. The first thing I'll do is erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now, however, I'll split the screen in model space into two viewports so that there will be room to redraw the 2D and solid model. I created the two viewports so that you can see both drawings and better understand the part I'm going to draw. Also know that all dimensions will be in inches. Now I'll create the 2D drawing. I'm going to draw a circle at the midpoint of the line just drawn to have a diameter of 1.98. And then I'm going to draw two more circles. One will have a diameter of 1.48 and the other smaller one will have diameter of 0.48. And now I'll offset this line to a point above at 0.5. Using the break command, I'll break that circle with the first point at this intersection and the second point there. Using the same procedure, I'll break this smaller circle with the first point at this intersection. Notice I'm going counterclockwise. Now using the trim command, I'll use the circle as a cutting edge and remove the excesses of the line. And with ortho on, I'm going to copy what I've constructed and move the copy to the right. Going back to the original circles, I'm going to erase the larger circle and then trim from the inner circle the excesses of the line. Then I'll return to the drawing on the right and remove the middle circle as well as the straight lines. Now there is enough information on this view from which to construct the 3D solid. Using the drawings just completed, I'll create the solid model but first I'll create a new layer, call it solid, and make it current. This new layer will have the color red. Also, I'm going to select the both drawings, change, go to properties, and put them on the layer called solid. And now I'm going to type PE enter to create a polyline. I select the line, it asks me if I wanted a polyline, I say yes, enter, then I type J to join, and I'm going to select the straight line as well as the arc, make it one continuous polyline. Using the same procedure, I'll type PE enter, so make that a polyline, and then join them together, as I did in both situations. Next, I'll move into the southeast isometric view. And now I'm going to extrude the circles, the inner circle as well as the arcs, a distance of 0.625. The lower detail I extruded minus 0.625 to have the extrusion go down. The one on top I'm going to extrude positive, point, plus 0.625 to have it extruded going up. And then, of course, we have to subtract the inner hole from both pieces. And then, of course, I want to move 
the drawing on the left on top of the one on the right from its center point. So I'll snap to the center of the bottom portion here and then move it to the top of the center of the other one. And then union them together so that they become one piece. And then I'll add some shading. The drawing appears correct, but now I want to rotate it. And so I'll go to Modify, 3D Operation, Rotate, 3D, select the object, and then put the base point at the center on top. In order to rotate the object uh, counterclockwise, I'll select the red ribbon and type 90. And now I think I want to create only one viewport showing the entire drawing in the top or plan view. Having finished the 2D and solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll use the MView command and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewports. Now I'll double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to Southeast Isometric View, and then pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model. And of course you want to double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. You must remember that when using paper space the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1 even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it, clicking on the properties button. The standard scale is found under miscellaneous and you can set any scale you want. In this case I'll set a scale of 1 to 1. Once the scale is set, you can double click inside the large viewport and then pan so that only the 2D drawing is shown. To accomplish this, sometimes it's necessary to move the solid. Then of course you want to double click again outside the viewport. Finally, if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want more, you can search YouTube under MD Guide. Also, please comment on this video as I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.